Hey, what's up, everybody? Chris Souders, Slender Cat Outdoors. I'm sitting here with the man of the uh, Waffle House King. I said Waffle House King. Yeah, that's good. I'll, I'll, I'll accept that. So we've, uh, since the last video, we stopped at the Waffle House, and, and uh, we mentioned that it was a good experience, and you just had to ask Bob Kent. Well, I've had a lot of people ask, who is Bob Kent, and what the deal is with Waffle House? So here we are, Bob, day three. Project. And uh, we're sitting in the 12th house and ready to get some breakfast. What Probably time is it? 5 a.m. It's 5 a.m. And why is a Waffle House such a great experience? Just the uh, cultural center of the earth. Yeah. Meet all kinds of interesting people. Why do you like it so much? Waffle House? Yeah. They get good food. I like it because it's cheap. That's true. That's true. It's They're bad. always open. Are they always open? Like we're on today. I know. I didn't know that. Do they serve anything for breakfast? Yeah. <laughs> he's he's going to get the menu for you guys. All I see is breakfast. Look oh, that. they got cheeseburgers. They got cheeseburgers. They got bacon cheese steak. Grilled bacon, chicken, cheese, deluxe plate, patty mounts. Well, they got everything you could ever want, don't they? I mean, what else could you ask for? And great coffee. A great coffee. Yeah. Folks, we're going to get our food, get something to eat, and hit the water. We'll see you shortly. Well, I'm right. I didn't reel, Bob. <laughs> I didn't reel. Well, Bob. Here you go, Bob. <laughs> you got everybody cutting bait. <laughs> First fish of the morning, second stop, and uh, we found them a little bit shallower this morning. We're up in what 10 to about 15, 18 feet. Got a lot of currents this morning and a decent fish on us. Good one to start the morning out, ain't it? Took about 10 minutes for this big boy to hit. He put on a show, isn't he? Big old fat thing. Oh. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> boy, Bob, you'll do anything to lose a fish. I ain't got no more, I can tell you that. <laughs> oh. Good thing we stopped at Waffle House this morning, Bob. Hey, he's 30 pounds anyway. Yeah, that's a solid fish right there. Yeah. Told Bob when he threw that one out that was going to be the one. Oh yeah? Yeah. Right there in the corner. Man. Right there. Boy, that hook was in there, wasn't it? Ah, oh, yeah. That fish is a big old fish, but small head on him. Big old belly on that thing. We'll get him back and get a picture. Hopefully catch another one. Bob's next, ain't you? Yep, my Bob's turn. Up, Bob's up next. Ready to go. Yeah. That's a pretty fish, isn't it? Goodbye. Back down to the bottom. Once you know that rod goes down, it's a big one. Yeah. Hey, Bob, did you waste your uh, time? Yes. Look at that. You need the net, Bob? <laughs> Here, do I need the net? <laughs> I don't think you do. It's been a tough, tough day today. 
that is the second fish and we have been fishing for hours and hours and hours you want your picture you'll be no, turning loose no oh bob come on Here. kiss him kiss him bob <laughs> kiss him <laughs> 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 Look at <Smile>. that. <laughs> Talk to me. There you go. What's your name? Oh, yeah, okay. Where you from? Where's your big brother at? <laughs> okay. See you in about five or six years. Big one? Well, you scared you're gonna get into the. Yeah, I don't really want to break him off. Because for no current, he's. Uh... Quite good. I knew it. Was <laughs> <laughs> it has been one tough, tough day. What you got there, Greg? I don't know. Oh, damn God. <laughs> if it is, it's a state record guard. Look at that. It's a good fish. Well, would you decide which way you're going to go with him? No, I'll let him decide. Well, I, Greg wants us to reel them all up so he can baby this fish in. <laughs> we was just thinking about going to the house. And uh, lo and behold, just dead sticking some, some baits by Bridge Pier. Think about what we was gonna do tomorrow morning. Had a good one hit. But man, what a tough day has it been. Fish three. Fish three, and we have been at it since daylight, and it is almost dark. But I think you got to You might have a. You might have another big fish of the trip. Let's see if Bob can net this one. Please do. <laughs> Well, I'm glad I moved over here by this bridge pier now. Are you gonna get him in or are you gonna pull him out? <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Better cancel those reservations at the restaurant. Bob, I don't know what he's got on there, but you know, hey Bob, this was your fish. I know it. Oh, no, no, I know it was. You know? <laughs> I know it. He'd been shaking them little ones off all day. I know it was my fault. I'm just saying. <laughs> he stole your fish. He did. How rude. How rude. <laughs> yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> 71 years old, somebody steals your fish. I hope something that gets off. <laughs> Oh my. Bob, he's gonna let that thing flop around back there on top of the water. Hey, you know that was on my uh, my side too. Yeah. Your side, your fish, and I'm the one reeling it in. Yeah. Thanks guys. I'm trying. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Look, get him, Bob. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> oh, goodness. If that fish comes off, we're going to lose it.
Oh yeah. That's another 50, 60 pound fish right there. Oh, I'll look, I'll look at him, hold his back. back. Hold his back, Bob. 39 years old, he can't even reel in a 30 pound fish, Bob. Where's that chair at? <laughs> Net him, he says. <laughs> oh, can you get him up, Bob? Yeah, I can. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> What'd you say, Bob? I'm glad he caught it. <laughs> I don't think that's what you said. I don't believe you, Bob. Boop. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a nice way to to go back to the hotel. Yeah, I'm ready to go to supper now. Oh, listen <laughs> to that, Bob. Now the man's ready to go to Applebee's. Spot locked right here. Never give up. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and how long do we sit right here in front of him and tempt him with it? Yeah. We've been here 10 minutes probably. Oh. Right there. Yeah. Probably more than that. Old Blackie. I've caught all my fish on that. I problem. think about all the fish will come on. Them too. <laughs> there you go, folks. One last look at him. 58 pounds. I thought he's a little bit bigger than that, but we're going to let him go. And Catch another and hopefully. All right, folks, let's take a minute to talk about the gear that we were using in today's video. Now to start with, this is a orange Hellcat from Catch the Fever. This is a heavy action. Now we were also using some extra heavies on the outside corner, but this heavy action is really the perfect combination for the James River. Give you enough backbone to fight those fish in that heavy current, but also enough limberness to make mistakes and just enjoy the fight as well. Now I've got this paired up with a Pin Squall 20. This is a level wind reel. A lot of good line capacity on this reel and also a good power handle, good drag. Just a all around tough, tough reel if you're looking for something that is gonna last you a lifetime. We've got that spooled up with some 50 pound main line. This is monofilament from Slime Line. And then we have 80 pound heavy cover Slime Line leader line. Now the rig that we were using the entire trip and it fluctuated a little bit as far as having demon dragons in line and not having demon dragons in line but we mainly were using three-way rigs with a dropper loop now on that dropper loop we just simply have 12 15 20 pound line something that can break easy if we get it snagged up and we don't want to lose our whole rig but we can break it off and lose just our lead and then retie something on there but this three-way rig was very important to us catching fish throughout the whole period that we were down there. And if you guys have not seen, this is the last video of a three video series that we made from the James River with Greg and Bob. So make sure you go back and you check those out. A lot of good fish and a lot of good information. But that three-way rig allowed us to get those baits up off the bottom in a subtle presentation above those blue cat's eyes and really helped us pinpoint and catch more fish during these trips. This video and this trip was very tough, but subtle changes and making good changes in your equipment and your rigs and how your pre presentation is to those fish is gonna make a huge, huge difference. Now we were using Boss Cat. This is a Boss Cat ADOT and also using 10 knots in this trip as well. So there you go, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as we did making it. We truly had a good time out there with AKA Mr. Waffle House, Bob Kemp, and Greg Atkins from Twin Springs Farms. We caught a lot of good fish, shared a lot of good information, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. And until next time, I wanna say God bless, tight lines, and we'll catch you on the water.